You are witnessing the pushing buttons phase. It's like, let's see what this does. Let's see what this does. I have done art my entire life. I think it's my primary language. I think it's the way I understand the world. I think of art as like setting up your own problem to solve and then knocking that down. I love the art community. I moved here to, to change my life and I did. Santino Lamancusa is the owner of the Hangar Art Company. I'm a co-founder there, but it's his place. He was looking for a little gallery for himself after COVID. He found this space across from the History Museum that was where Haphazard Press used to be. It's a gorgeous space. You know, there just, there wasn't a place for big art. We all appreciated the space and the potential to, to have a really big gallery um, where we could show big works and a lot of different types of work. It'll always be really important to me. Right now, I am doing concrete sculpture for Tom Kirk. I met Tom through the Hangar Art Company. When he was doing the Concrete Lady sculpture, a lot of us came, went over and he welcomed us to be a part of, which was great. As time went on, the projects got bigger and I became more involved and it got to a point where Tom was able to, to have me full-time and I was able to work full-time and now I'm a full-time concrete sculptor and painter, which is crazy to say. So when you sculpt with concrete, the first thing that we had to figure out was our mixture. You have the Portland cement mix, and then some grout, some fiber that kind of holds everything together, water, obviously, and then sometimes Dawn dish soap, which kind of makes everything fluffy and moldable. And when you get it right, it's wonderful. And when you get it wrong, it's horrible. It's absolute garbage. It's heavy. Um, sometimes you're carrying it in buckets like upstairs or climbing different parts of the sculptures. We started small with concrete sculptures. I started with these little concrete flowers. They're about this big. And when I think back to how much time I spent on these little flowers, something like the dinosaur would have never happened. The dinosaur started last summer. We started with the head and it was just one day. We talked about it, we framed it. We sculpted the dinosaur head on the ground. Getting everything in place in the sculpture park is primarily Tom's job. He used a crane to lift it up. It was wonderful and it was a disaster. Like the first day, like everything cracked to the point where after we got it up in the air, months later, I had to go back and repair all these cracks before we painted it. There are people from the community that came by. Every day we worked, like every day we're down there, they'll come by and they'll talk to us and they watch progress. So. That engagement is very exciting and fun. But then, you know, it's winter and now it's done. So we're working in Tom's house. I'm currently building an aquatic themed shower for him. So it ha it'll have fish, it will have a mermaid bench, it'll have an octopus head. Concrete is so permanent and on display and I've learned how to face my fears more than I ever have in any other job. I don't feel like I fail anymore. I do feel like there is like a playful type of joy in, in the work that I do, which I love.